Good morning. How is your routine this morning? Do you have the morning routine completed? I am dressed down to the shoes. I've had my morning exercise, breakfast, drank 20 ounces of water, and I'm ready to roll with the day. So I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I'm still dealing with a frozen water line in my kitchen, and we ended up developing a leak in our kitchen sink yesterday. So yesterday had a few bumps along the way. We hand washed our dishes yesterday and we found out that one side of the sink, the little drain basket, was not sealed. It had a little bit of movement in it, so then it leaked. So then I was down to one side of the sink and no kitchen water. But we persevered, we found ways to work around it, and we still had dinner last night. I made potato soup and we had our pork chops and a salad. And it all worked out, but it was not without a little bit of frustration and some quick thinking on how to work around not having a sink that worked properly or water. But I used water from the refrigerator that's filtered. I was able to rinse things, at least in the side of the sink that worked well, and we used paper products. So cleanup was a breeze. Um, the more difficult part was dealing with my pots and pans and also dealing with the um, cheese grater and those things that I used to make my cheesy potato soup. But it's done, we had a nice dinner, and today we'll keep it really simple. We will have our water worked on later again today. We did get it running just a little bit yesterday, um, but we've got some ideas in place to make it better where it won't freeze up again. And we just live in an area where you don't count on several days in a row of being sub-freezing sub and it not warming up in the afternoons. So we've got a plan in place and it'll be okay. I'm going to still use disposables today, easy menu today, and the boys learned some skills yesterday on hand washing and drying. And my youngest one will now have the attitude that emptying that dishwasher is a whole lot easier than having to dry dishes and put them away. So we have learned some lessons and it's okay. I'm just going to take each thing as it comes today and I'm not going to let it stress me out. On the blog today, I wrote about the launch pad area. I had several questions this week. What is the launch pad? And generally, that's the area in your entryway, wherever you come and go, where you put things to take them out the door as you leave. It's where you drop things. Good morning, Lynn and Dee. She, Dee says she hardly ever had a dishwasher. She loves disposable dishes. And she said it feels like negative 18 there, and they had a five hour power outage yesterday. That's a lot to overcome. I've been making myself look for the things that I'm thankful for. I have running water in the rest of the house. I'm able to wash my clothes and I'm able to at least wash the dishes and get them put away. So I've looked for the positives even though it was a little awkward yesterday. Good morning, Jennifer. Great to see you too. How many of you have all your holiday decorations completely put away? And I'm not going to ask about your outdoor decorations because if you're in the deep freeze like we are, we are not going to take down those um, outdoor decorations if it's this cold. They can just wait. Good morning, Mary and Marge. It's great to see you ladies today. So if you have decorations that you've not put away, go ahead and finish that today. Try to get it done so you don't have it for the weekend. If um, you're on a different kind of schedule with your church calendar and you're waiting till Epiphany, that's fine. Next week, just do it a little at a time. But if that's not your hold up, go ahead and start getting that stuff finished today. Lynn wants to know, do you drip your faucets and keep the bottom cabinet doors open? She put a pot under each faucet to collect water and use for something else. Yes, we have done that. Um, the main issue is the area where the line goes across my front porch is just a big, open, breezy area. And so we're gonna work on closing that in today. We think that's going to help because we've insulated the pipes and there's just too much wind and air up there because we're ventilating our front porch for the summertime. So we're going to do some things to help for the winter and then we'll have to take some things back down in the summer to allow for heat expansion. So we've lived in this house 28 years and the past couple years have been the hardest in terms of dealing with that water. And even leaving it running, that's about, the trickle is all I've got this morning. So it's okay and we have been collecting the water because we have a goat out in the pasture and the water is freezing out there so several times a day the boys are going out with fresh water from in the house from collection to go take care of the goats water so it is feeling a purpose 
and it's working out for us. But it's just one of those things that it moves your routine around a little bit and you have to learn flexibility. Somebody asked this morning, what do you do when you're sick for a few days? Do you try to make up for the missions that you missed? I don't think you need to. Jump back in with the mission for the day, your home blessing for the day, and just get back into your regular routines. Over the course of a couple of weeks, you'll catch back up and get back where you were. But I don't want you to feel like once you've been sick that you've got to make up all this stuff and get it done in one day. But just go back into a normal routine and it'll take care of itself. It'll be okay. Your home blessing today is to declutter magazines that you get in the mail. If you don't get any in the mail, declutter paper. We all have paper issues. We can all spend five to ten minutes a day getting rid of paper. So work on paper clutter and magazines today. If you've not done the other home blessings earlier in the week with wiping your windows, dusting, whatever that is, go ahead and do those today. Spend 10 minutes just making things look better. It doesn't take a lot of effort if you're consistent. It's when we just decide to do one, once a month dusting or clean the bathroom once a month. Then things kind of build up. So do your swish and swipe. Do a quick dust each week. It will work for you. You just have to make that commitment to be consistent. Dinner tonight for us is going to be chicken, but I may change that depending on how things go in the kitchen. I'm going to take a look in the freezer and see what easy things I have. If I have something I can dump into my crock pot or my Instapot, I think that's probably what I'm going to go with instead of chicken because I don't want to dirty up a lot of pots and pans again today until we get this water situation worked out. And it'll be okay. I have a very flexible menu plan. I write it in pencil every week. So if I change something, I can just move chicken to next week and it'll be okay. I don't let little things stress me out when I know I can just change one thing and it'll be okay. So if you have questions today, let me know. I did get out and run this morning in the cold and it was pretty hard because I had to do eight miles. And I'm glad it's done and I'm going to try to stay inside and stay warm the rest of the day because we had some wind chills that took us down into the teens when I was out there this morning. So I'm really happy just to be inside and have a little heat going. Have a fantastic day. I'll be back in the morning. We'll talk about wrapping up our week, getting ready for the weekend for family fun. And if you're looking at your list and you have too many things for Saturday to do around the house, divide those up today and tomorrow and see what you can get done. I want you to have family fun this weekend and not feel like you have to clean your house all day on Saturday. See you guys in the morning.